Brunswick Arts Commission presents The Sounds of Broadway by the Central Jersey Wind Ensemble on Sunday, October 26th. This group has come to us for a number of years now. Uh, it's put together by Nick Santoro, and uh, usually he, has, he used to come each year about before Christmas time. And it's a very enthusiastic group. They have their heart in the right place. They love to play and they love their music. And uh, they give very enthusiastic performances. And the audience loves them each year. Now they're coming a little bit early in the season. And uh, we, we seem to have a, a huge crowd for them. And the enthusiasm is tremendous. The Central Jersey Wind Ensemble, of which I am the conductor, will be performing a concert of all Broadway music. Um, we're going to be doing music from West Side Story, uh, My Fair Lady, Sound of Music, um, and we're going to have two vocalists with us doing uh, selections from Les Mis. And can you please tell me more about the Central Jersey Wind Ensemble? Yeah, we were formed about 20 years ago. Uh, it's all professional musicians, and we get together and we basically do concerts for free for community events in schools and uh, just want to bring good band music to uh, the greater community. How did you hear about the sounds of Broadway? Uh, it's been at, my, actually my friend told me about it, but I know there's events every, um, every so often here and I look for them myself, I look it up, you know. Yeah. Is this your first East Brunswick Arts Commission event? No, I've been going a long time to many of the events because they're always wonderful. I've never, never had a bad one, never been disappointed. And uh, how many people are playing in The Sounds of Broadway? It's a 35-piece band, a uh, true wind ensemble, one on a part except for woodwinds. And it's a professional group, high-quality group. And what can the audience expect from the performance? We're going to ask the audience to sing along with us on all of the Broadway tunes that they know. Um, so it's going to be uh, pretty much a laid-back event. We're going to have a lot of audience participation and have a lot of fun. wonderful concert by the Wind Ensemble and we're here to uh, back our friend Larry Weisblum who was one of the clarinetters and uh, the whole music and the singing was outstanding a wonderful performance. Who would you recommend this Sound of Broadway to? Uh, anyone that has any appreciation for Broadway music or any music and singing should never miss a Wind Ensemble performance and we thoroughly endorse it. What was your favorite part of the performance? The singing of the uh, two twins, Frank Hughes Jr. and Kelly Hughes. They sang Les Mis and it was outstanding. Just like it sounded on Broadway. Is 
your first time at seeing Sounds of Broadway? Yes, this is the first time and uh, we're going to come back every year and we encourage everybody in the area to also come and enjoy this and make, make a little donation to help out. They, all, all the support that they can get will be appreciated. And what motivates you to continue attending the Arts Commission events? Well, you have such wonderful programs and it's so convenient. You don't have to go to New York, take the bus tower center. You can just if you drive a few minutes away and you have a wonderful afternoon. We're trying to serve our community, uh, trying to bring the kinds of programs uh, which they would enjoy and to uh, uplift their interest in cultural uh, performances and programs there. So that's our goal here and we try to make it uh, appealing and most of the programs most of the programs are free uh, based on our budget. We hope for people to give donations but they're offered to the community free. We've actually played uh, about four or five concerts for the Arts Commission. We did um, a couple of holiday concerts here. We actually did one at Hammershold Middle School because we outgrew this space here. Uh, and uh, we love coming to East Brunswick and we hope that they have us back soon. And what motivates you to continue conducting the ensemble? Uh, we just love to perform. We love music. Everybody in the group, uh, many people in the group are not what you would call professional musicians or don't have a music degree, but they're great players in their own right, and they just enjoy playing. So we get together about twice a month for rehearsals, and uh, as long as they keep coming out, we'll keep conducting. And can people join the Win Ensemble? Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a limited organization because we're not looking to have like an 80-piece band because it truly is a wind ensemble, but uh, if anyone's interested, they can contact me through our Facebook page. What do you hope the audience can take away from your performance? Uh, just have a happy day of listening to some great Broadway music. They should leave smiling. And what is the most rewarding aspect of your job? Just standing up in front of great musicians and performing great music. Is there any upcoming events? Uh, actually, Tuesday evening we're playing for the Italian American Club in Clearbrook Village. We're going to do uh, some music from this program and some Italian music for the club. And we're doing a holiday concert at a, um, a small church in South Plainfield in December. For more information on the East Brunswick Arts Commission, please visit eastbrunswick.org. Two! <laughs>